Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode seven for building most icely. So, just jumping right into the uh, update here, we got an order. This is from Prop Soul Breakers Lab, I think. Uh, it's a pretty weird name, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut through the top here and get into the package. So, pop open these flaps right here. Uh, we got some bubble mailers, always a good sign. And <laughs> I've never actually gotten a Bricklink order with a brown plastic bag, but uh, yeah. Anyways, let's open this thing up and hopefully I got all of the stuff that I ordered. And uh, yeah, just pour this thing out onto the table jump right in so first thing we got here I think I got five of these domes for some like obviously dome roofs and stuff like that for the cantina as well as just normal huts um, next thing we got were some rings uh, just thought they might be useful for some rings they have on Tatooine uh, next we got some 1x4 medium dark flesh tile a uh, couple stems because I didn't have any and the store had some so thought I might pick them up and we got three cantina uh, musicians, which are obviously very iconic and necessary for the cantina. I uh, got some slopes and random assorted pieces for the cantina. So jumping right in to the actual cantina, this is all of the progress I have gotten done since last update. Now I know this is kind of a lot. Um, I think last update all I had was the floor, um, but now I built some booths and I will obviously be going through and changing some of the stuff on them um, but yeah so as you can see right here this is just kind of the overview uh, of the entire cantina and this is basically all of the stuff I'm gonna actually build for the collab that me and Daniel or Lego clone 123 are going to be doing um, you can see it's two gray with two green on the side and just 16 by 32 base plates uh, to fill in the gaps but basically Daniel's thing is going to be on the right right there and my thing obviously is going to be on the left and I'll do some freeform a little bit on the edges to make it not you know a rectangle um, but basically I'm just gonna have a street going through kind of over here and then some buildings on just basically wherever I have more space but um, yeah so got a decent amount done on the cantina uh, you can see here this is the one weird guy who sits next to the hammerhead um, which I don't have yet but I should be ordering soon so um, yeah so as you can see there there are some grills on the sides of the booths and I'm gonna be doing that to all of the uh, all of the booths I just haven't done that to as you can see the left side of that uh, cantina band area and uh, here you can see the drink uh, mixtures or the golden plumbing or whatever um, I did stick in an IG-88 head because that is what they used um, to make IG-88 they just repurposed some of the canisters that they used in the cantina so I thought that was kind of a cool idea um, but yeah so here you can see just some of the back sections of the booths which I will obviously be changing up um, but over there we got uh, the weird orto plutonian guy uh, and he's chilling by himself for now but I will put in some Jawas and a guy right next to him but here you can see the outside this is kind of what it's looking like so far um, as you can see over here we got uh, the wolf guy he's chilling next to an astronaut and uh, Technically, the astronaut is sitting next to the Vosk astronaut that you can see in the bottom right corner. Um, but just thought, you know, I didn't really have that much space, so I may as well throw him in there. And we got, obviously, those two Duros guys arguing and the obviously iconic uh, Han shot first scene. And uh, don't at me, but Han did definitely shoot first. And then here we got the Vosk alien. Uh, or I guess technically astronaut, but um, a cool fact about this guy is they actually did use the suit from this guy to make Bosk in episode 5 afterwards, so accuracy 
Um, but this is going to be the final height of the uh, cantina, you can see there. Um, I don't exactly know what how many bricks that is, um, but it is four, uh, I guess, eight plates high. don't know how that translates into bricks, but that is basically that. And you can see just some of the you know, details that I'll have in the cantina, uh, some dark tan and just weathered bricks and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so here we just got a random Rodian dude just chilling outside. But, um, yeah, so just nothing else really to go over this, uh, this week. Um, I do have to really kick it up a notch um, because I have two weeks almost exactly to finish uh, this entire mock. And as you saw, it is pretty large, so I need to just kind of power through and build as much as I really can. But what you're looking at right now, this is going to be my custom Dr. Evazin. Now, before you get mad at me, um, I've looked around and there really just aren't any uh, good custom, uh, you know, figs. Um, I will be getting a custom Panda Baba, so don't worry about that. But um, that's basically the best you can really do with just, you know, Lego parts and um, these guys actually should be shifted over one uh, stud, but basically where uh, Obi-Wan was standing is where Panda Baba is going to be standing. And uh, basically, it's not it doesn't really make much sense, to be honest. Um, I'm kind of just having it set up how it kind of works for me, because obviously Luke is not even entered the cantina, and Han is already being confronted by Greedo. Um, but... Yeah, so that's basically all I have for you guys in this update, so, yeah.